In this video, we'll look at what happens when we put sodium chlorate in water. That's NaClO3 plus H2O. Sodium, that's a metal. And then the chlorate, ClO3, that's a group of nonmetals. So this is an ionic compound, and we would expect that it might dissolve in water. But we should check a solubility table to see if that's the case. So on the solubility table, the positive ions, the cations, they're here. We're looking for sodium, which is right here, Na+. Plus, and then chlorate, that's the negative ion, the anion, and we go over here, chlorates. So we go down where they meet, and we see that there's an S. And that S means that sodium chlorate is soluble in water. So let's go back to our chemical equation. And we now know that if you put sodium chlorate in water, it'll dissolve. It'll dissociate into its ions. So we could say we have solid sodium chlorate, which is written this with a little s, and then liquid water. And we put the solid sodium chlorate in the water. It breaks apart into its ions. Remember, Na had a positive charge, and the chlorate, that has a negative charge. So we end up with Na plus plus the ClO3 minus. Because these ions are dissolved in water, we want to put an aq after each one. That means aqueous or dissolved in water. And because of that, we don't need to write water again on this side of the equation. Some people don't actually consider this a chemical reaction, because if we let this sit out, all the water would evaporate and we'd be back with solid NaClO3. Either way, this is what happens when you put NaClO3 in water. It dissociates into the sodium ion and the chlorate ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.